and you have to connect with your kids. Right now, I find that many of the parents complain that their child is always in their room, they're always on their devices, there's no connection, weekends come and go, and there's no time spent together. So when you connect with your kids, regardless of how old they are, when you connect with your child, what ends up happening is that your child's brain forms a neural pathway that will allow her, allow her to learn, remember, and think, okay? So you want to create this neural pathway and they will only be receptive when you have a connection. If there's no connection, if you don't know what's going on with your children, if you don't know who their friends are, what their worries are, and any kind of difficulties they are facing, then don't expect to be able to influence them. So first you have to connect. Now there was this Harvard study done and they took a very simple task of putting circular objects in circular shapes and the same with all different shapes. Very simple task that any toddler could do. They had adults, educated adults doing this. They had a time frame and what was different about this experiment is that as the as each individual as each adult was doing this they had a person standing on the side and yelling out negative things okay saying things like this is hard you can't do this you're lazy you're stupid you can't you'll never get this guess out of the six adults who did this how many of them were able to complete the task what do you think? How many do you think were able to complete the simple tasks that toddlers do with this person yakking away with the negativity? Zero. None of them were able to complete the simple task. Now, what does that tell us? That tells us that when we are being negative with our children, when we are commenting uh, and, and thinking that we are like using tough love or we're toughening up our kids and we're going to tell them, hey, you know, stop being lazy. You need to you need to work harder. And we're just berating them. This is not helping. They actually shut down. The brain shuts down when negativity is being spoken. Now, they had the same six adults do the same activity within the same amount of time. But this time they had an individual standing there and saying positive comments of you got this you are so smart this is easy this is a cinch what happened every single one of them was able to complete the task so we need to really become aware of what we are saying to our children how we're approaching them making sure that there is a connection and then making sure that what we are telling them is actually opening up their, their brain, that neural pathways are being created so that it will allow them to learn and to connect and, and to have this ability to, um, this ability to remember, inshallah.